Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a bit of R, ah, not R&D, a bit of R. Ah. So there's some workshops out there that still use aftermarket parts and that's fine, it's up to them. I just want to provide you with some information as I know and understand it. Um, you know we only highly recommend the use of genuine parts for these jobs and for a lot of vehicles on the Toyotas. Look, on some other brands it's different because aftermarket parts can be better than genuine. But with the Toyota stuff, in most cases genuine is the go. So the first thing I want to note is, and I'm just going to give you the facts, only the facts, right? So you can see the brand of the kit. I'm not going to say whether it's a you know good or bad brand or whatever. That's as new, that's the brand 20 years ago, 25 years ago when we were rebuilding petrol injectors and that, cleaning and rebuilding. That's the brand of parts we used. Um, so what we're going to do here is, the first thing I want to note is, and I don't know where they're getting their components from. I don't think they're genuine, any of them. Um, but I could be wrong, and I'm, but I'm going to show you why. Now the first thing I want to say is, there was another aftermarket supplier, you know, the B word. Um, we won't mention anybody in the know knows the B word and if you don't know the B word lucky you you don't want to know the B word so but the ones they were supplying had a pink dot on them so perhaps they're coming from the same supplier or from the B word right and the B, they also came with it on these bits of foam which so do some genuine ones as well in certain kits but not usually they don't usually have that this o-ring looks a bit fat to me we're just going by what it looks like and the finish on this washer is not like a genuine one, right? So what we're going to do first, I'll just get the bag open, right? Open up the bag, get the goodies out. And we'll do a little bit of uh, suss it out and see. Right. Now, what I should have done, and you know I'm always not that good at getting organised. There's an O-ring, there's a seat, and there's a out of... The as new bag, okay. Alright, there it is. I should have got a genuine one of each ready, should not, but it'll only take me a second. Because they're right here. And let me see, where have I hidden those? Um we need one of those. Okay, so we'll get one of these. We can get them out. We've got a whole heap here, but okay, that's your little fuel return line gasket, as you can see, genuine. No pink dot. That's out of the genuine bag, right? So Right, just to compare the pair. This one hmm, might probably work, just pointing out whether it's genuine or not, because some suppliers, they use genuine, right? And they could even be manufactured by the same. So let's just put the genuine one there. Now, what do we need? A seat. Where did I hide those? Okay. Where did I hide those? We've got a few of those in this bag here, so we'll get those out there. These are definitely uh, genuine ones, right? There's probably uh, maybe a hundred in there. Got bags of them. Right, this is what a genuine one looks like. So the finish on it, normally, not always, right? So what we'll do, we'll just grab another genuine one of a different type, because there is a different type also. Here we go. So this throws a spanner in the works because this is a genuine one as well. Right, and here's one of those genuine ones out of the bag. Right. All right, now it's starting to, you know, confuse things a little bit, isn't it? We've got, some, we've got a few O-rings here, a few genuine O-rings. So we'll get those out. They are genuine, 100%. And we'll compare the pair in a minute. But I think you can see already being so far apart. Now, I'll share with you what my concerns are. Already, my biggest concern is the size of the O-ring. Let's compare the pair. Let's get them together. Let's get in there. What can we do with this thing? Let's get that down there like that and get in here a little bit. All right. All right, genuine, genuine, genuine. All right. Compare the O-rings. Now, 
when you install the injector, in case anyone's not sure, this is the injector, that's the O-ring there. You can see it's a genuine O-ring. It's fairly thin. If I squeeze it really hard, you know, it'll stick out a little bit like that. So you can see it, if it's nice and soft, right? Because it's quality, because it's genuine. So a couple of concerns is the quality of the material needs to be just as good or better. I don't know if this is. These are a pretty tight fit, they do the job. So if you were to put a bigger O-ring, there's a chance, even from factory, sometimes what can happen, these you need to lubricate. That's what we use the molly coat. You know, the book says use oil. I don't like oil, I prefer the molly coat. That's another story, watch the other videos. All right, look, there's a little dent on that seat there too, eh? Or a scratch. Just a bit of a scratch actually, so that's cool. I'll just turn it over so it doesn't distract us. Um, it's copper anyway, so being genuine, we know it's copper. We'll get to whether that's copper or not in a minute. That's a good question, right? So what doesn't usually happen with these, if you lubricate them and you lower them in nice and slowly, a little bit of a twisty twisty and just gently put them in, you won't have an issue with that O-ring. But if you do, and you can, we've seen them from factory, and of course we've seen them where butchers have been in there <laughs> and done some damage where you get multiple on one car and you know yeah they just got slapped in but even from factory very rare it might be one in a thousand i don't know we've seen it where what happens the o-ring i'll just get a little pick and this goes for any brand guys any brand or whatever any denso injectors or other brands of injectors similar systems in a lot of vehicles so it's not just a 1kd thing here what happens is if it gets caught up at one side, it might pull the O-ring like that. And it might hold the O-ring like that. But the O-ring still seals around there, around there. And just because it's tight and sitting out of place, it still seals. And it seals like that for 10, 15 years. I've seen them, okay? So you might pull it out. It'll be molded into shape like that. And you'll go, oh, what happened here? And maybe someone's been in there. And I can tell you that um, maybe someone hasn't been in there. It does happen every now and then, guys. So understand that. My point here would be that O-ring's certainly too big. Whoever engineered that, it's, uh, I'm not going to get the verniers out and do the measurement thing. You can see it with your eye. I would estimate it's nearly twice the size in thickness, probably a little bit less than that. Um, I'm not sure about the quality, right? So definitely bigger, which could, different, could cause a problem, may not. Um, could be sub-quality materials that might not last, they may go hard to tear out and start leaking prematurely before the life of the injector, we don't know, but maybe not, probably not, let's say. So that's our first concern, let's put the O-rings, that's sorted out the way, let's get rid of that injector for a minute. That's our O-ring sorted. Now these little washers, I don't see, I've just taken it off the phone, I don't see an issue with those, okay? Many years ago, we did use a lot of these, all right, let's have a look at this, right? Here's our genuine one. Not that it matters. It's not bent. It's all nice and square. This one, even though it was on foam, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit bent and a little bit kind of twisted as well. Now, it doesn't really matter. It's fairly soft. It's probably copper, right? It's probably copper. Pretty soft. Feels like copper because sometimes manufacturers make these out of brass because it's cheaper because they think they know better, and they coat them in a copper-like coating, right? Now, am I just making this stuff up? Hang on, let me dig through this. I think they're in this container here. All right, I'll try and find you one, right? Mm. So, yeah, obviously, you can see the colour of most of them, and I haven't kept many of these, but the colour of most of them is that alloy colour, and that's a coating over what we believe is copper. If that was aluminum, it could be wrong. Um, I reckon it would be a lot softer it's a lot harder you know what I mean the difference you know you can see copper it kind of you know see that one's I don't think that is copper this could be one of those other materials that's been coated in copper because that is really hard right to bend now let's compare because these are old dodgy ones we're playing with now right oh yeah see how easy that bent look you know if I go like that enough that's going to snap off right and I don't care sacrificial we get heaps of them but it is copper you can see I didn't just make that up right my information came from experience, even though I forgot. You can see the copper colour, right? So they are copper. They're nice and soft. They're a gasket, right? They're rubbish. We'll just put that over there now. That's rubbish. These ones, a lot harder, right? A lot harder to bend. So we've got a few of them there, so we can sacrifice another one. Let's do the, let's do the bendy thing and see if it breaks like the copper did, if we can even bend it. Yeah. 
real life demonstration. You saw how easy the other one broke. We're still going on this one, right? It's a lot harder. It won't break. What's going on there, okay? Now, we're not being engineers here. We're not doing official material testing, but wow, we just got through it there. Right? Hard for you to see. I know it's got to focus in. Right. I'm going to have a close look. I can't see on the camera. You probably can't see. Looking at it by the colour, it certainly still looks like the colour of copper, but I'd imagine it's got a higher percentage of... Um, it's almost like brass. Um, it's probably got a lot more... So what's, uh, let me think now, right? I'm not an engineer, so don't hold that against me. I reckon that, uh, I reckon, see, it's a reckon thing. We're reckoning here now. I reckon that um, brass is a mixture of copper and aluminum, right? Whatever the percentage is, I can't remember, but this could be a mix, right, of the two, but enough to look like um, copper. But it's certainly a lot harder, so I don't like it because I don't believe it's gonna squash and seal the way copper does, which is why I like to only use genuine. You know what you're getting, you know what works. Let's scrap that over there. Let's ditch, that's, we'll just ditch those into the, there's the evidence container, all right? We'll just put that aside. We've got a lot of containers of evidence to back up everything that, all the demonstrations we show you. So, <clears throat> this one, yeah, bends pretty easy, okay? I don't think that's an issue. I don't think you have any issues with that. So it's a good copy of a genuine. Um, I don't think that's an issue personally, okay? I think they're coming from the same supplier or from the B word, if you know what I mean. This is genuine, so let's put those aside. We'll pop this one back on the foam, actually. There you go. Let's do that, so then we know 100% what that one is. And we know it's as new. Right, now. <coughs> excuse me a bit. <coughs> Maybe we should have a drink. <coughs> Coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, just when the speaker's speaking, you know they stop and have a drink every now and then. Sorry about that. So, genuine, happy o-ring mm, not happy return washer mm, not too bad but why would you when you're doing a job once every five or ten years probably closer to ten and you just want to know that it's right factory oem bada bing that's what we supply in the kits guys anyway now we've just got the seats left as i said these two they look very similar yeah like this one this one completely different okay so let's just be really clear. All these are definitely genuine. That one, we don't know. It came in a non-genuine bag, but it could be genuine. Now, what's the go here? Well, all the replacement Toyota ones and all the new injectors, except for a small amount, look like this. And they are copper. I just want to be clear, they're copper. Again, I probably need to show you. I'll, I've got a few. I've got a few here. We'll show you what I mean. You've seen them before. Right. You can see, right? Dirty, filthy things. You can see the ring in the middle is the copper where it's starting to wear through. They've got a coating over them, right? They're a little bit better than the copper ones, right? The old copper ones, they're not bad. They did the job, but they need to be changed, right? So there they are. You know that they're copper, 100%, right? Now, so which ones have got these shiny ones? There's a small amount of part, there's different types of injectors for the 1KDs and it's important you get the right one. So there's a number of different ones that are the right ones and there's a number of injectors that will fit in, that will work, that are cheaper, they'll do the job, but they're not exactly right, okay? So if you wanna get exactly the right brand new genuine parts, you know who to go to, but we don't wanna push that one because we're very busy. Please plan ahead if you do wanna purchase injector kits and expect delays because we're getting really busy and it's just gonna be me with minimal helpers so that we keep the service level. Okay, so there's a few part numbers that come with these, okay? There's one part number actually. Okay, if you've got, if you get your injectors and the seats in there in a little bag like this, you'll know. And they're the early Hiluxes, are the only ones that are gonna come with those. Like if you've got an 05, 06 Hilux, you may end up with seats like that. And we've done testing on those. Uh, where are they? They're probably, I think I've thrown them all into that bucket. I'm not going through that. But they're there if we need them. Um, we've ground these down. They're definitely copper. We've bent them and twisted them with pliers and all that sort of stuff. We're certainly happy with those, okay? This is definitely genuine. I don't care about the finish. I prefer this one, actually. It just looks more 
kind of like grippy. It's going to stick and grip to the head better than the, than the shiny finish. I'm not a fan of, you know, shiny looks good, but it goes faster. But what's behind this, right? Let's do, let's do one thing. Let's get a magnet and just see what happens, right? With all these seats, right? Let's go. Nothing happened with that one. Nothing happened with that one. Nothing happened with that one. Okay, so that's good. Nothing happened to the magnet. I think the next thing is we need to get a file and just take a little bit off. We're not going to do these. We've done them before. We know they're copper. You know what copper looks like. It's that orange colour. But I think we need to uh, do the damage on this one. So I've got in my hand a flat bastard. And no, I'm not swearing. And if anyone was not sure about that, but that's what a, a big file like that's called. I don't know if you can see it, but if you read that... Oh no, it's a hand bastard. Okay, so there is a few different files. There's certainly a flat bastard, and this is a hand bastard, right? So, what we're gonna, because that's aggressive, that's why it's a bit of a bastard. Um, so here's that seat. I'm just gonna start on it here and see how that works out, because I wanna do it in front of you, right? If possible, rather than take it out of the picture, because you know, then it's undisputable, you can't argue with it. It's looking like copper, guys, it really is. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take it to the uh, the vice, pop it in the vice, right? Because if it was looking yellow like brass, I'd be going, no, we'll keep doing this. Wrong bench, that's why we got that, if you ever see that dirty old rough workbench in the vice over there, it's looking like copper, I'm looking at it now, right? Bada bing, if you can see that. I'm just gonna take a bit more off it, only be a sec. Show you what we got right makes me want to dig it does make me want to dig in the um, other container because this copper it's a different color copper and again like this material perhaps it's got a higher percentage of other cheaper materials I'm just going to get out a copper washer here in fairness right I've got an old copper washer but what I want to do is file that so we've got a fresh surface on it I'm going to put that down, right? We fold that. You can have a look at that if you like. I don't know if that works out for you or not or whatever. You can look at that in the meantime. All right. I'm just going to go and fold this so we've got a fresh surface and we'll compare the pair. Now I just want to mention as well, why are we talking about this so much right now? Why are we talking about these things here? Well, it's a massive problem with diesel injectors of these seats leaking if and when, keep listening, people haven't cleaned the ports, used genuine parts and correct torque specifications, okay? So it's really important. Did you hear that? Genuine parts, we know it works. Now, we don't know that these don't work, but if you've got a nice soft pliable gasket, then fair idea that it's going to, um, you know, it's going to work. If you've got something that's got other materials introduced to make it cheaper and therefore harder and not work right. Now, the first thing I notice, I'm going to be honest, you can see I filed this side of the washer, right? So from there to there and from there to there. When I put them in the vise, I didn't put them in, I just... I didn't take any notice of how tight I did up the vise, but when I put this one in, I noticed it was hard. Well, I didn't notice, I just put it in the vise. When I put this one in, I noticed it was soft. The vise handle kept going. Can you see the teeth marks in there? And I did not push it, okay? So my example is, this may look or even be a certain amount copper, but it's harder. I guarantee you, if we were to get this tested, so I'll keep it here, I'm gonna put a little mark on it right now. Evidence testing exhibit A, right? I'm going to put a little blue mark on it like that. 
for the lawyers. All right. That will go back in the as new bag. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm not saying it's it's got some marks on it. I'm going to go over there again. I'm going to put this in the vise. I'm going to put one of these in the vise as well. I've done it before, but I'm going to destroy one of these, right? I'm going to put one of these in the vise, and I'm going to apply... This is not a technical test. This is I'm going to apply approximately the same pressure on this one at that side, and... Look, you know what, we'll just do this one. I mean, you can already, I'll show you before I go any further. For the people that are hanging around that want to know everything, right? Here we go, you gotta get your priorities right over here again. Let me sort that page out so that we can get our priorities right. This will work better. Here we go. You've got to get your priorities right. Okay. If you saw the other video, I don't know if I've released that one yet, but anyway. Let's try and get down and get our priorities right. It might depend a bit, the light causes problems as well, so here we go. Let's bring a veranda in and see what that does. Might help. Sometimes too much light's a bit of a problem. So you put the light like that and it's all just reflective. That's just the skylight, guys. Nothing knowledge I can do about that except this veranda I've got. So you can see... Definitely both some sort of copper. And if I can pick that up, they'll probably end up dropping it. I'm trying to do it one-handed because I'm holding the veranda as well. Oopsie. I want to really want you to get a good look at those, right? Whoop. Got the shakes trying to hold it without dropping it on reposition. Got to get your priorities right. Right, okay, so you've got your best look at it now. That looks to me to be the same sort of colour material, in fairness. Right. And it may work perfectly fine. But let's go and put it in the vise and give it a little crack. Tell you what I'll do. I'll put them both, oh, that won't work. To be fair, I was gonna put them both in the vise at the same time, but you know, it's just not gonna work out. So what we'll do is, I'm gonna go over to the vise. I'm gonna have a second opinion, have a feel, and I'll bring it back and I'll show you what the findings are that in a moment. Okay, so first I'm putting in the as new one in the middle of the vise, it's an old Dawn vise and I've given it a fair crank. In fairness, I've given that much more of a crank than I'm going to give the old copper one. I'll put the old copper one in and to me that does feel softer, okay? Just, just my opinion. Now I'll show you, I'll come and show you and we'll see if we can see the difference on the priorities again. Priorities. Priorities, no priorities, okay. Right, so, I don't know how well you can see. Probably hard to see, really. Look, there's not a lot in it, maybe, you know? You can see the teeth marks from the vice in that one, in the as new one. So it's definitely copper, because the brass ones, you can hardly make a mark in them. I'm, scrape my fingernail on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Scrape my fingernail on it. It hasn't made much of an indent. It's more of a mark. Oh, the copper, yeah, my fingernail's getting caught in the in this copper one on the left here, right? So, definitely got a big ridge in it. I'll put those down again. Right. Try and demonstrate. Okay, so this is the fold side. This is the... You can hear the ridges. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an engineer, right? Any engineers want to do the official testing, right, you can do that. Buy yourself a genuine one, buy yourself an as new one, and you can give us the absolute facts on the material, testing and all that if you like. Yeah, not much in it, you know, I don't think. Let me do a visual here. Hmm. 
look, you know, the quality of the copper might vary, okay, but my findings are it would probably be satisfactory, okay? So I believe it's going to be a very similar to something like this. It's probably an aftermarket one. It could be genuine. It could be just like one of these, really. Um, but Toyota manufacture in Japan for the injectors. These are the ones they manufacture now, right? These are Thailand, okay? So Thailand do the shiny. Japan do the this. This is old, so we'll get that out of the picture now, just for the R&D. So this is genuine. If you got your priorities right, that's what you're going to get. And if you get the aftermarket kits, we've had them where there's all sorts of different. You have to look at the other videos I've, I've shown those. Um, there's ones that look like copper, like this, but they're brass. They've got a copper coating over the brass. There's ones that are brass that have got a shiny finish just like this. And that's what I was concerned with with these. So to give them the benefit of the doubt, at least they are copper. We are able to put an indent in them. Remembering I did go really tight in the vise on that one. And just normal, not so tight on this one. So my suspicion is this is probably more like genuine copper. 99.9% .9 CU. Right? So there you go. This one, I'm not sure. That would have to be tested by a metallurgist. And that's not me. Okay? So... Overall, I think that kit would probably do the job as far as the seat and that washer goes, which is probably the most important part, but you certainly want to have a look at your O-ring size, guys, because it doesn't look like, I don't know who engineered that, but you'd have to agree, NQR, that's, that's like the supermarket, you know, NQR, not quite right. You go there and get your frozen peas cheaper than, you know, a bit like the old Bilo or whatever, you know. So I'm sure you don't want to be NQRs. You've just got to, and for your own thing, just make sure you are getting quality components. And if you can source genuine and supply those for people, I think you'll be uh, winning, you know. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this one. I hope you understand everything we've shown you here. So we're not picking on the brand. We think overall the kit, the conclusion is it's not too bad. But you can see for yourself the O-ring's a little bit too big. It's We don't believe it's a genuine washer, but it doesn't mean it's not made in the same factory and they put a pink dot on it. doesn't mean it is either, right? And same with those, they could be made in Thailand, but I suspect uh, another manufacturer that is making some sort of copper, but perhaps a bit cheaper, because I don't think it was just a coincidence that to me it felt harder when I, look, I put that in the vise, I didn't notice the softness is how I'd like to say it, I didn't notice a problem, but when I took the copper one over there, 99.9% .9 CU, I felt the vise handle, I just kept going, it was soft. So there's certainly a difference there in my opinion from unofficial, you know, follow your nose, you know, by the feel of it, you know, it's just the feel of it, the kind of, you know, if you know what I mean. Anyway, bada bing, I reckon that's about it. That's long enough, but, you know, detail and information takes time, guys. If you got something out of that and that's helped you avoid possible fat O-rings or whatever, um, you should watch the other videos because there's a lot of other worse things in this than you can avoid. I just had one of these supplied to me by someone, one of our 4 Before 4 Diesel Workshop partners wanted to know what I thought of this kit and um, there's the answer I suppose for everyone. That's how I like to answer questions. That's why I say, look, you know, don't call me with a question. Don't text me with a question. Put it on our Facebook groups because lots of people can answer. Lots of people have got experiences and if I answer, I want everybody to see it so that I don't get the same question again. You know what I mean? It's called being very thorough and time management. So I've spent half an hour now to save myself spending 10 minutes or half an hour with 100 people over the next 10 years, right? It's all here. Please search the channel, search the groups. Don't forget, when you watch those videos, as soon as you find something awesome in there, give us a thumbs up so we know we're doing the right thing. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss the next bit of information. A lot of people are behind. They've just found the channel. They've got catching up to do. The last thing you want to do is get further behind. So have the bell on and watch those videos as they come in and maybe work your way backwards is the way to go or work your way from the oldest ones through to the newer ones. But also watching those fresh ones as they come in because they've got the latest updates and information that override any previous information, even from a year ago. If we find something that changes or whatever changes, we're going to give you that update, okay? So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Bit of a longer one, half an hour, but full of information. Thanks for watching. See ya.